This is my first time ever pack rafting. I'm a little nervous, but I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. It's a little windy though, but we'll make do. So we just rolled up on camp number one of the night, uh, got our rafts out of the water, ready to set up. It's been a weirdly cold day, like super windy and stormy, but next two days are looking really good. So we have the DCF Cimarron and the Cimarron Half Nest, as well as the stove. We'll see if we run the stove tonight, but I can tell you what, we're both extremely cold, like our toes are stupid right now. So we're gonna get set up and see how things look. We've got the tent set up, our beds made. Um, we're really pumped for food. We're both really hungry. Um, we knew the weather was gonna be a little crazy, but um, when the sun came out, it was absolutely gorgeous. And it's just been such a beautiful experience. And I think everyone should try this at least once in their life. Um, I think spring, early spring was a cool time to do it. Cause as you can see, there's no one else here. It's just us and that's pretty special. We've got two steaks and a beef stroganoff peak meal that we're gonna eat tonight. After all the paddling we did today, it's definitely well deserved, so. I swear it's like every time you have a steak that's over the grill or over fire, it's just the best steak of your life. Mm -hmm. Especially right now, I'll be like, oh, this is the best thing I've ever had. Mm -hmm. Dinner was phenomenal. We're gonna float some more in the morning and see more of the beautiful landscape that this float has to offer. And I couldn't be more excited. It's day number two, just woke up. We uh, slept in a little bit. It was pretty nice out, so it's a good time to lay in the sleeping bags. Um, but we did get a little a bit of condensation being down by the river and all, so bags got a little bit wet. Got those guys drying. We need to go get some water. Um, so we'll go filter some from the river and get cooking breakfast. And I think we're gonna pack up and start heading down. We got everything packed up and loaded, and we have substantially better weather today. Not even a cloud in the sky, and probably like 10, 15 degrees warmer. So, pretty pumped for today. You see we got shorts on, a little more relaxed fit. So, we're gonna get uh, floating down the river now. Lunch was really good, so now we're gonna get back on the river and head to our camp spot. We'll probably have another three hours of floating, but the sun is amazing and it's gonna be a really fun time.
So you may be wondering why camp is already partially set up. We had a little bit of a emergency, honestly. First time I've had one of those in a long time. Uh, we missed our campsite by a little bit. And so we stopped on the side, put our feet in, and it was pretty quick sandy. So we sunk in quite a bit and like up to our pants and everything. So we got super, super, super cold. There's no sun, any, like right when we got here, there was no sun and there's quite a bit of a breeze. So first thing we did was try to get the boats up as quick as possible, get some upper layers on and get the tent set up. Unfortunately, we have to have the tent set up with rocks because it's all just rock below us. So it was a little bit of an emergency, uh, but we just washed off our bodies. We're in warmer clothes now, as you can see, and we're uh, really excited to get some food going. Alright, we're starting dinner number one. We're gonna have two dinners tonight, because we deserve it. <laughs> um, first one's just uh, freeze-dried meals, and then second one's gonna be some sausage with uh, Caesar salad. So, it's getting dark now, and I'm just gonna enjoy what we're eating. We just had dinner. I think it's uh, time to call it a night and uh, get kind of an early start tomorrow. We've got another 10 miles to float down the river, get to our car, and then we got to drive back to town. So, um, yeah, pretty pumped to go lay in bed. It's day number three. Just woke up, slept in, uh, really got some good sleep last night. And uh, yeah, we're going to pack up a little bit quicker than yesterday and get on the river. My favorite moments of the trip have been probably just relaxing on the water. The biggest one I feel like in day-to-day -day life it's very hustle and bustle so you don't really get to just lay back on the water um, in the sun, in the Colorado sun that often. Um, and then the stars here at night are just outstanding. They're so beautiful. I'd say the hardest trial was <laughs> when we missed our, our campsite and uh, got stuck in some quicksand. Body temperature dropped pretty fast, but we bounced back. <laughs> Pack rafting has been an absolute blast. I've learned a lot um, and seen a part of Colorado that I've never seen before. So it's been a lot of fun and I definitely want to do it again. 